And so we go to open our Caesar model. We select six inch load through the run. And when the Caesar model opens, we see that it's a relatively simple Caesar model, that the D over T ratio is 93, which is significantly greater than 40. When the D over T ratio is greater than 40, and we have branch connections in the model, we know that the code stress intensification factors can easily be in error. So this model has a 28,282 inch-pound torsional or MY moment applied at this end of the run pipe. The branch pipe is from 20 to 40. There's a stress intensification factor applied at node 20, and we see that it's an unreinforced fabricated T. The default in Caesar is to leave the SIFs blank and the sustained stress indices blank, and to use defaults from Appendix D of the piping code, which for this D over T ratio, we know may not be complete or thorough. The model is defined sufficiently, and so we can select the batch run option. In this case, we can see that we only have weight plus the external force, which is the torsional moment about the run. So we'll select the default load case and the stress summary and see that that 28,282 inch pound moment produces only 93% of the allowable stress. Because we know that this D over T ratio is high and that the SIFs are likely in error, we would like to run this model through FEA tools to validate this calculation. So we start FEA tools, access the translator, select our job name. The same name appears for the letters dash FEA following them. We're definitely using Caesar version 7, and we want to use version 2 of the translator. And we press the green convert button. The translator goes out, reads in the Caesar 2 model, it finds the branch connection, and it replaces the default Appendix D, SIFs, SSIs, and K factors with SIFs, SSIs, and K factors from the finite element calculation. And now we're ready to go back and rerun the new Caesar 2 file. We change the job name. When the model input appears, we can see that we now have in-plane, out-of-plane, and torsional SIFs, and in-plane, out-of-plane, and torsional sustained stress indices. All the loads are the same as before, and so we select the batch run option. Previously, when this model was run, it was 7% under the code allowable. Now when the model is run, we can see that it's over the code allowable. We can check the stress summary and see that we are 300% over the allowable. The actual stress once we've run FEA tools is 54,000 PSI, not 16,000 PSI. And so which of these results are accurate? Which calculation do we want to present to the client? Which of these numbers do we want to depend on? Here's the piping system from our Caesar model. B313 says that a sustained moment of 18,820 inch-pounds was okay. More applicable data from FEA tools says that that same moment is 300% overstressed. Which solution is correct? Let's see what happens if we apply the 18,000 inch-pounds to the top of this piping system. What we see is because of the existing air and current B313 torsional SIFs, sustained torsional moments below the allowable can produce considerable distortion of the piping system. So in conclusion, when the D over T ratio is greater than 40, to be sure you have an adequate solution, you should almost certainly evaluate more applicable data. And FEA Tools from Intergraph does that for you automatically.